I'm back at the site of the old Fort Steuben Bridge that was taken down at the beginning of the week. The cranes are now setting up the biggest piece of the bridge. Uh, the tower on the West Virginia side weighed 400,000 tons. It needed cut in half. The biggest blast that was heard during the dropping came at the end two seconds after everything else had already fallen. The bridge needed to be out of the way when they split that tower. They needed to split the tower so these cranes could pick it up and get it out of the water. I'm pan over here to the Ohio side. Let me show you this tower here. Forgive me for shaking, I didn't bring a tripod. Look how clean those cuts are. They're made with linear shaped charges that are fired by the blast. The blast does not blow the bridge. The linear shaped charges cut down the bridge. In the background you're looking at the replacement bridge. Been there for several years. This bridge stayed in service for many years. It was only taken out approximately three years ago. But now it's gone, an old Steubenville icon.